Hi guys, in this video I'm going to go through the uh, LaunchBox No Intro Nintendo 64 setup, um, installation fixes and other options and then finally we'll go through the control settings. Okay, <clears throat> So installation is pretty simple. It's um, included in the base setup but let's go through, um, so I'll just go ahead and highlight that and let's go through some of the, um, the options and, and that way you can get more familiar with that system. Okay, so first thing is let's go ahead and take a look at um, launch box no rocket launcher UI so it's gonna be in your D drive uh, this launch box no intro rocket launcher rocket launcher UI folder double click on rocket launcher UI <coughs> let's go ahead and get that open up first all right let me go ahead and maximize this right here first and we'll scroll down on the left here to Nintendo 64 there you go okay first thing is um, I like to look at the emulator um, this one by default was using the RetroArch emulator okay um, you can go up to games right here do a system audit and um, if you kept everything in the default directory uh, these games are just gonna run so let's go ahead and run um, let me see here 007 here and you can click this little rocket button here and that's gonna launch the game through rocket launcher where you'll get the fade and the bezel as well loading loading complete Okay, so it's loading. You, um, you, you get the bezel right there on the side. Um, if you look at the screen, you notice that the, the aspect ratio, it's, it's not right. You know, um, I, I did that on purpose because a lot of people were having problems with kind of like the screen being off center or it's not displaying stuff. So I, I kind of messed mine up on purpose so that I can show you how to fix it. Okay, first thing I want to do is hit F1 on the, the keyboard. That's going to bring up your quick menu here. Um, you can see up here on the top left hand corner is, is this quick menu. Um, what we're going to do here is hit the backspace to get back to the top menu. And I'm going to go down here to video. Um, and the, these are some of the settings you want to basically make sure it's correct. Um, down here at the aspect ratio right now I set to uh, 3 fourth. By default it wasn't there. You know, so um, you notice when I change this, you can see the game in the background also changes the aspects ratio. Okay, so just kind of change this to what you would like. Um, the recommend setting would be to uh, for core provided. Okay, so once you've changed that, go ahead and um, hit the backspace again to go back into the, the um, quick menu. Um, right here on quick menu, hit enter to get back into it. And what you want to do here is you must save the uh, core overrides. Otherwise, the next time you come back to it, um, it's basically going to revert back to the default setting, whatever that is. So let's go ahead and save there. I'm going to hit backspace. Oh, that's loading. So, so down here where you, set, you see core overrides, okay, hit F1. And um, that's basically it. You, now your game should work. I'm just using the Xbox One controller plugged in right now. So we could kind of start a game. Um, I don't know how to play this spell. Anyway, it's the controller is working. Okay. So um, if you have a different controller or your controller doesn't work. So I'm going to show you how to do that next. Go ahead and also hit F1 on the keyboard. Um, you're going to go into the quick menu for this time. Um, in here, you have controls. Go ahead, controls. And then um, this first line here tells you what type of device you want to um, set for the emulator. Um, this tells you if you want to use the, the left analog or not as a digital, digital type, which is the, the D-pad. And then down here, this is where you're gonna set all your buttons. Um, you notice RetroArch does a really good job if it detects your controller, and all my buttons are set to auto, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Same thing with um, 
uh, player two here. I don't have a second controller plugged in, so it's it's not set to auto. Um, you know, you you can change that. To change that, you just hit enter on the keyboard, and then just uh, press a button on your controller. Okay, and then after that, you make sure you click on the uh, save core remap file, and that way, when you load up launch box, um, when you load up the N64. Uh, games again and it uses this core um, it will just remap the controller for you directly okay all right so let's go ahead and F hit f1 here to get back out into the menu okay so other settings that um, might help people is um, if you click on module right here Go down to Retro Arch here, and then you're gonna click on this this button right here. Um, right here in the center is where it says Edit Global Module Settings. Click on that. Okay. Um, on mine, I didn't have to set the Retro, um, you know, Retro Arch Core, um, and I didn't have to set the aspect ratio because I think my my default was Core provided. But here's where you can click. Plus, I mean the the, the uh, magnifying glass here, and then here you want to navigate to your D drive, the launch box, no intro folder. You want to go into the emulators folder, retro arch, your cores here, and I, I believe in the documentation, uh, Copipe recommended that we use the uh, right here, Mopin 64 plus. Uh, uh, core so double cl uh, click on that click open and now anytime you run the N64 system it will run retro arch and it will actually load up this code of course if that doesn't work you, you can load up other core as well um, let me see here and what's another option here is um, retro arch cores um, just look I'm gonna look for the other option. I forgot what that was car. Oh parallel. <clears throat> so parallel N64 is the other option. Okay. So I'm gonna cancel here. <clears throat> and then um, you can also set the aspect ratio index here to core provided. Um, so let me just go ahead and do that. Okay. Alright, so let's let's go ahead and close out this right here. Let's go back into our game. So uh, let, let me try another game here. Army Men Air Combat. Let me try another game here to make sure that the setting we just did Loading. didn't mess anything up. Loading complete. So down here you see core remap file reloaded on the bottom left hand corner. It's configuring my controller. Um, and that, that looks like it's okay. Let me load into the, the main screen here so we can see the aspects ratio. Let's get that. Okay, so, yeah. so we're in the main screen. My controller is working. Hits the start button. And everything seems to work. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, escape out of this. All right, so um, the other thing you can do is, let's say you had a game. Uh, I think people were having problem with um, Mario Kart 64. Um, let me let me go and try that. Here's Mario Kart 64. Let me launch that. Loading. Loading complete. Okay, this the sounds it's a little bit jumpy. So let me launch. Yeah, this sound sounds a little bit weird for me, and it's a little bit laggy. So um, let, let's try something here. So if we look at Mario Kart 64 right here, we're going to go back to our module. Okay, we, we can edit the 
uh, make sure you click on RetroArch here and then click on the Edit Global. Let me see here. So, Edit Global Module. Um, let me go ahead and expand this. We click on the ROM settings here. If we add, um, so I just, I basically just click on this plus sign, add new ROM settings. And if I scroll down to Mario, Mario Kart 64, right here we can actually set specific setting for this one game. Right here, you can see that when I highlight Mario Kart 64, I, I have an option to change the core. So let's go ahead and do that for this one game only. So here's the D drive, launch box, no intro. Again, we want to go to emulators, retro arch, core, and I believe the other core that we wanted to use was uh, parallel 64. So let's go down. Here's parallel 64, click open. Um, Okay, and then there's some video settings here you can change. Um, so just kind of go in and look at it and play around with it. Make sure you, if you're going to change something, make sure you um, uh, remember what you changed. So if it doesn't work, you can always change it back. Okay, let's click on the exit to close it out. Uh, go back to our games. Here's Mario Kart 64, and I'm going to go ahead and launch it one more time. Loading. Loading complete. Yeah, so you can hear the hear the sounds a lot better. Okay. Go ahead and hit F1 on the keyboard. And if you hit F1 down here in the bottom left hand corner, you can kind of see that we're now using the parallel N64 for this game. Um, I'm not sure what this frame count is. Uh, FPS is 60 in the menu. Perfect. So let's go ahead and start here. And we'll, we'll start the same game as we did last time. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to be Peach. So 24 frames per second, 29 frames. Um, I'm I'm running this off of my um, laptop, and um, in order to record using OBS, I have to set the video card to use the the integrated Intel one. So even though I have a uh, NVIDIA 1060, I believe in this laptop, um, if I set it to that, it, it doesn't really. I can't really record. It will be a, a blank screen. Anyways, we're getting a consistent 30 FPS here, which is great. Completely playable. All right. So let me just go ahead and exit that. Okay. So let's go back to basically our, our goals here. So we the installation was done now. Um, we, we took a look at some fixes and stuff. And I also showed you how to change your controls inside the retro setting and that's basically it for the n64 guys have a great day bye bye